Hi, I'm Helen from Canal and River Trust's learning team. Today I'm going to show you a really simple experiment that you can do at home to demonstrate atmospheric pressure. Now we'll come back to what that means in a few minutes, but let's have a go at doing this experiment first of all. What you'll need is an ordinary drinking glass like this one. You'll also need some water. And the first thing you'll need to do is to fill your glass about one third full with the water. Next, you'll need a piece of card which is just big enough to cover the mouth of your glass. If you take your piece of card, place it over the mouth of the glass with your hand on top. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the glass over and I'm going to take my hand away. What do you predict will happen? One, two, three. Wow, amazing. That's more like a magic trick than the science experiment. Now we'll come on to why that happened in a moment, but why don't you pause this video first and have a go at that at home. Well, how did that go? I hope you were successful and you didn't get wet. Have any of you thought about how or why that water stayed in the glass? It might seem like a bit of a magic trick, but actually it can be explained by science. I've got a helpful diagram here to help me explain. So the water in the glass obviously has weight, but the air or the atmosphere around us also has weight and also exerts a force. In this situation, the force of the water pushing down on that card was less than the force of the atmospheric pressure of the air around us pushing up on the card. So the water stayed in the glass. Now, if you'd like to, you can experiment with this a little bit further. Try adding more water into your glass and see when the weight of that water and the force that that water is exerting actually becomes greater than the atmospheric pressure. Why not pause this video and have a go now? So just to recap, the air around us has weight. And this exerts a force called atmospheric pressure. It's this that prevented the water from falling out of our glass. Now, lots of things affect atmospheric pressure, like temperature and humidity, for example. And you might hear weather forecasters talking about it. But did you know it affects the fish in our canals as well? Fish have something called a swim bladder, which is about here, just above their hearts. When pressure is high, their swim bladders swell. It makes them feel very bloated and uncomfortable and they don't want to eat. Now, if you're out fishing, you might want to check if the pressure's high because you're unlikely to catch much. Well, thank you for taking part in this experiment and I hope you've enjoyed it. Check out our website for more films and experiments you can take part in.